Namo Buddhaya. Dear meritorious devotees and my dear children, life is so beautiful when it is filled with good qualities. Normally, our mind tends to do the bad things and evil things. That is the nature of your mind. But if we practiced our mind to turn all those evil thoughts to good thoughts or wholesome thoughts, then our life will be wonderful. So the more you practice good qualities like compassion, love, kindness and unselfishness, so all those good qualities makes your life a beautiful and wonderful one. So always we have to focus on the wholesome side of our mind. Yes, we are a mixture of good and bad. There is no single person in this world who is with 100% good qualities. And there is no a single person who is living in this world with 100% bad qualities. We are a mixture of good as well as the bad. So what we have to do to make our lives a better one is to focus on the wholesome side of our mind and practice and develop that part of your mind. The more you develop the wholesome part and the wholesome side of your mind, the less the evil thoughts may appear in the life. So that is based on the practice. Whatever you practice in your mind and your, in your life, in your day, and that, that particular thing will be the repetition of the whole life. That means if you practice the evil thoughts again and again and again, what will happen? Always your mind will be in the evil side. But if you practice good qualities again and again, always your mind tends to think, do and work in the wholesome side of your mind. So that is why it is very important to develop the good qualities, good human qualities in the life. So, one of the basic and the foremost human wholesome quality is compassion. Compassion we call in Pali language Karuna. Karuna means our great teacher Supreme Buddha explained this word Paradukhe Hadayang Kampeti Ti Karuna. Feeling the sadness when others are going through a sad time in their life, if you feel sad, then that is what you call the compassion. And it simply means being sad and feeling the sadness when others are feeling sad and being happy when others are being happy. That is what you call compassion. So if you have a compassionate heart, then you will feel the sadness of others. The more we develop the compassion in our mind, we can understand the situation of other people. Now normally in this world, the, it is very rare to a person to understand others' situation. It is very hard to be in others' shoes. So always when we develop the compassion within our mind, then we will have the opportunity to understand the suffering, sadness, the, the critical situations of others. Then. If you develop the compassion, then you will have the opportunity to help them. You will tend to help others. You will tend to sacrifice 
a part of your life on behalf of others. Life is not living only for yourself. A happy and wonderful life is something that we should live for others also. The most and the greatest compassionate person who ever lived in this world is our great teacher Supreme Buddha. He sacrificed his whole life to find the reality and the truth of this birth and death. And he tried very hard to escape from this suffering. And he tried and he sacrificed his life to escape all these beings from this suffering. So our great teacher Supreme Buddha is the best and the foremost model of compassion that we can find in this world. He sacrificed his whole life on behalf of us. So being unselfish and sacrificing our life for others, helping others, being compassionate is a good quality that you can develop in your life. If you be compassionate and if you help others, if you treat others with your kind words, kind actions and kind intentions, then those broken hearts will be healed. If you use the compassionate words, those words can heal the broken hearts of people. So that is one of the biggest happiness that we can have in our life. That is called the mental pleasure. The pleasure of helping others. The pleasure that we gain by being compassionate. So after we grown old and we, when we are facing the death and we, when we are living on our deathbed, we can recall our past and the way we lived and we can be happy with that. Always remember, it is not matter how long you live, Always it matters how you lived. So, when you are living your life, try to practice these good qualities, good human qualities. Try to be a good human, a compassionate, a kind and lovable human. Then only you will have the opportunity to find the real peace and happiness in your life. So I wish you all May all of you find the ultimate happiness in your life. Namo Buddhaya Teruansaranai.